All right, so right now I'm going to teach you how to aim properly, okay? <laughs> All right. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to line up one edge of your screen over either yourself, okay, or your target. Emerald is the person you're trying to kill, so Emerald is your target. This is you. So it doesn't matter which character you put at the edge of the screen, as long as one of them are there. In this scenario, I put Emerald at the edge of the screen, okay? So this wind arrow in the middle of your screen, okay? It doesn't matter how you move your screen. This wind arrow is always going to be the center. So this right here, is always going to be five distance from this side of the screen and it's also going to be five distance from this side of the screen okay so as you can see I made this scale here I lined emerald up at the left side of the screen so basically from emerald to the wind arrow that is five distance. If I didn't line her up at the side of the screen, it would be a lot harder to measure, but because she is at the very far edge, I know that the edge of the screen to this wind arrow is five distance. So that takes away a lot of the calculation. Because now all you have to figure out is how far this wind arrow is from your character. So from here, this wind arrow, to here, you can see that's about 2. And then from here to the edge of the screen is 3. Because if from this edge of the screen to the wind arrow is 5, then you know this edge of the screen to the wind arrow is 5. This is 5, and this is 5. So, because Emerald is at the edge, and the wind arrow is in the middle, you know this is 5 distance. You know that from the wind arrow to where you are is about 2 distance. So you know that you are 7 distance away from your target. Right? This is 7. 5 plus 2 is 7. So all you have to do is take your angle from 90 degrees and lower it by 7. So it goes 90 down to 83. Okay? One angle for every one distance. 7 distance, 7 angles. So now that your angle has dropped from 90 to 83, all that's left is to factor in the wind. There is 0 0.1 wind pushing against your shot, which means you need to apply more power because the wind is fighting against you. For every 0 0.1 wind, you have to add one more power. If the wind was pushing to the left, so if it was 0 0.1 wind and the arrow was going the other way, then you would use one less power because the wind is carrying your shot farther. Okay? <laughs> so. For every one wind, you're changing one angle. For every 0 0.1 wind, you're changing one power. So last round, the wind was 2.4 against your shot. So you start off your angle at 90 degrees. You calculate the distance. There is seven distance. You lower your angle from 90 to 83. 
there is 2.4 wind against your shot. So because there is 2 wind, you lower 2 angles. So now you take your angle from 83 down to 81. But there is still 0 0.4 power left. I mean, 0. 4, sorry, there's still 0 0.4 wind left. So because there is 0.4 wind, you can't change an angle to get rid of the 0.4 wind. If you lower another angle, that's going to be as if there was 3 wind. Okay? So you've lowered 2 angles for 2 wind. Now for the 0.4 wind that's left, okay, now you have to change your power. So because there is a 0.4 wind fighting against your shot, you need to use four more power. Remember, for every one wind, you change your angle by one. For every 0 0.1 wind, you change your power by one. Okay? So when there's one wind, you change your angle. When there's 0 0.1 wind, you change your power. Right? So, Let's take it from the top. Let's pretend this round there is 2.4 wind. The first thing you're going to do is line your screen up along either your opponent or yourself. This time we line the screen up on our opponent, Emerald. From Emerald to the wind arrow is 5 distance. From the wind arrow to where you are, that is 2 distance. 5 plus 2 is 7. There is 7 distance. You lower your angle from 90 to 83. 7 distance, 7 angles. There is 2.4 wind pushing against your shot. To deal with 2 wind, you lower your angle by 2. So your angle goes from 83 to 81. To deal with a 0 0.4 wind, you add 4 power. So you, your power is going from 95 to 99. So to hit this target, you have changed your angle from 90 to 83 down to 81 because of the wind and added 4 power for the 0 0.4 wind. 